Look out for flying pigs, everybody. It looks like Meta is making good on their promise to make it so you don't need a Facebook account to use the Quest anymore. For more on that story, the games that were released this past week, and other news, you're in the right place. Welcome, Virtual Dreamers. My name is Gregory. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive right into this week's virtual news. The newest releases for the Quest in this past week include VR Thief Simulator, I'll go ahead and let you guess what the game is about here. The American Dream, a self-described samurai punk virtual reality trip, which really looks more like it's a game about fixing all of America's problems by shooting them with guns. So just like the real thing, Wands Alliances, a 3v3 online mage fighting game, and Ruins Magus, a story-based VR JRPG about going through a dungeon. I have an impressions video up with a review coming soon, so make sure you check that out and subscribe for more coverage. Meta is finally delivering on their promise to make it so that you can use the Quest line of headsets without having to have a Facebook account. Instead, users are gonna be prompted to create a Meta account, along with a Meta Horizon profile, which the Oculus blog described as a replacement for your Oculus profile that will be used as a virtual social profile of sorts that consists of a unique username for the account and a profile name that is more public facing. More than one Horizon account can be associated with a main Meta account and any Facebook or Instagram functionality would still be available for users who opt in by linking their accounts to the services. Friends will also be called followers upon the update. All these changes will be going into effect starting in August of this year, and users with older Oculus accounts will have till January 1st of 2023 to transition. While there is still more information that needs to be clarified, such as if inputting a phone number and payment information will be required, this should go a long way towards reducing the issues people are having with their Facebook accounts, causing them to be locked out of their devices or just generally wanting to minimize their personal presences on social networks. With that, on to the last two bits of news. Data miner Steve Moser discovered that the Oculus iPhone app has the text Pair MetaQuest Pro Write Controller within it, possibly hinting at the possibility that the soon to be released Project Cambria will have the official name of MetaQuest Pro when it is fully released. The name is likely to be officially announced in this year's Kinect conference, so it shouldn't be much longer now before we obtain a proper confirmation, so stay tuned. Resolution Games, the developer behind the popular game Demio, has acquired the indie studio Zen's VR, known for the game Horde Z. This announcement comes along with reports of positive growth, with the company renouncing that they nearly quadrupled their growth in revenue and tripled their game downloads in 2021 compared to 2020. This allowed the company to expand into the United States, with a subsidiary now based out in Austin, Texas. This is a good sign for the industry, as Demio was one of those titles that gained a lot of attention back in 2021, and knowing that that company is thriving should be a good sign to any other developers who want to get into the VR space. For any more news that may come about, be sure to subscribe down below to the channel and consider supporting the work directly by becoming a patron. The link will be down below in the description for anyone who's interested. Till next time, virtual dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.